the energy is really intensifying. And what that really means is that more of you, more of your divine energy, more of your light, your soul is grounding into this reality, into your physical vessel, into the planet. And when that happens, that brings forward or manifests all sorts of ascension symptoms. Now, one of the symptoms that I'm seeing a lot or people are reaching out to me about are feeling really out of the body and feeling just detached from reality, almost like they're watching a movie. And that's a common one right now. And that is happening because we are being expanded. Our field is being expanded. Your body is being reconstituted to be able to hold more light. And that process is really the process of raising your vibration. So when you feel that you're starting to expand out of the body, maybe you're experiencing a little bit of dizziness and vertigo or um, those types of symptoms, that is because your field is expanding and your awareness is really rising up out of your body along with that field. Now, that's going to create those types of symptoms. What we want to do in those situations, though, is we want to really remain anchored in the body. Okay, the body is where it's at. We came here to experience this reality from the perspective of the human, not live out here in this, in this energy field, right? We want to be back in the body so that we can assist in this expansion. What's happening is you are really being asked by your higher self to take that laser focus of intent and turn it away from what's happening out here and focus it into the body. Now, when you start to do that, you're going to pull this awareness and your consciousness that is really expanding in your field and pushing out your field, you're going to focus it back into the body where it needs to be. We are here to really ground and anchor our consciousness into the physical vessel. So when that comes in and your awareness is really focused externally, you're going to start to feel like you're detached. So how do we solve that problem, right? How do we solve that feeling of being detached? At first, it might feel good. It feels different, right? But after a while, you start to lose energy. You start to lose focus. You start to lose motivation. Maybe you start to, to get a little bit sick. You catch a virus or something like that. Um, you just start to feel down in the dumps. Well, that's because your focus, your energy has just moved out here in this expansiveness. It's like a balloon, right? You just kind of grab down to the balloon as your field started to expand. What we want to do is we want to grab back onto the body and pull it all back in because that's where this energy needs to be. It's trying to find its home within the body. And the more places it tries to find its home within the body and it, it gets stuck or it can't access that space within the body, because you have stuck energy there, energy vibrating at a lower frequency, you're going to feel as though your field's going like this and you're being expanded. That's what leads to those feelings of being ungrounded or being pushed out of the body. So how do we, how do we resolve that? Well, we want to ground and anchor into the body. We want to bring our focus and bring our awareness back into the body. We want to reconnect with the body. You may experience, you know, some aches, some pains, the more you get detached or feel like you're floating out, the more you may start to become aware of some aches and pains within your body, those types of things. So that's your body calling you back inward saying, hey, we need to focus in here because we've got all this divine light coming in through the sun. We've got the eclipse energy, right? We've got right now we're in Mercury retrograde. So we got a lot of stuff going on. And, um, you're being called back in so that you can help to really create space so that this light that's coming down doesn't get pushed out in your field. You want it to be able to find space within the body so that it can be integrated into the physical vessel. Okay, that's a return of you landing in this, in this physical reality, grounding into a physical body. So again, when you're feeling like you're getting pushed out, you're floaty, it means you're ungrounded. So to get back in, we want to start to breathe, breathe into the body. We want to put our hand on our heart, put our hand on our solar plexus and take some deep, deep breaths. Try to focus into these areas, try to expand them, right? Squeeze the muscles around them and then let go and let that tissue compress 
and expand, compress and expand. When you do that consciously, you make an effort to do that, you're creating or building new neural pathways. You're creating circuitry within these areas. And a lot of times these areas are out of balance or they really feel like they're offline, like your chakras not being aligned, right? So when we can get into these areas and you're gonna be called into certain areas of your body, when you close your eyes, when you're breathing in your heart space, you may feel some tension in some areas of the body. Bring your awareness there. Squeeze it. Let it expand. Move energy through it that will help to release these areas of stuck energy that your higher self is trying to move into but can't because it's vibrating at such a low, low level at a low speed, right? It needs to rise in frequency. It needs to start vibrating faster so that it can match the frequency of the energy that's coming in. That's how we integrate this energy, right? That's how we embody it. So being feeling like you're being pushed out of your body is really you saying, okay, I've got a lot going on here that I need to work on, but I'm not quite committed to doing it. So you continue to get pushed out. And eventually, again, your body starts to just show the effects of that lack of consciousness, right? Because of that stuck energy, you start to not feel well. You start to have low energy, those types of of effects. So if you're experiencing that, I don't want you to think of it as though something bad is happening. Actually, it's the opposite. Something very, very good is happening. Your higher self is landing. It's coming in and it wants to find its home within your physical body. It's just asking you, trying to grab your attention. It's like waving that flag, like get back in here. Let's anchor it. I know you're floaty. I know you're feeling like you're expanding, which is great. The energy is present. Let's get it in here. Let's help to help to with intention create space within the body by finding those areas that have been offline, those areas where where the traumas, where those limiting beliefs have stopped energy flow, right? For a lot of you, it's the root, it's the sacral, it's the solar plexus, right? If you can work into those areas by breathing by feeling down in there, by expanding it, by compressing it, you are actually getting energy moving. The vibration in that area or those areas will start to increase and more of your higher self will be able to move through there. And then eventually it's going to come up into the heart space and you're going to start to connect with bliss, love, joy, peace, all of those elevated high frequency emotional states. And once that happens, it comes up into here and you start to be able to perceive all of it, okay? So again, a lot of people reaching out to me saying, I'm feeling very floaty, I'm feeling very spacey. That is why, make sure you stay hydrated throughout your day. I want you to close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, put your hand on your solar plexus, take some deep breaths in, reconnect with your body, be aware of what your body is telling you in those moments and direct your consciousness and your focus, your intention, to those areas within your body. Can you squeeze them? Can you release them? Squeeze and release. That is focusing that laser of your intent, your intention, your consciousness, right into those areas and allowing your higher self to move in. As you continue this process, as we continue to receive this light, you will become more of your higher self physically. Again, the energy moves up through the chakras, gets into the heart, shoots up, to the brain, and then you start to really perceive that shifting reality, that 5D, that new earth. This video resonated with you. Please watch this one next. Thank you so much.